Imagine this. You open your phone, and before you even think, your screen already knows. The next video plays, the perfect ad appears, the headline matches your opinion almost word for word. It feels like magic, like technology reading your mind. But here's the question nobody asks. What if this magic isn't just serving your interests, but quietly rewriting them? What if a I personalization isn't reflecting who you are, but shaping who you become? What personalization actually does? Every like, pause, scroll, and comment is a signal. These tiny digital breadcrumbs are tracked, stored, and fed into AI models that predict one thing. What will keep you watching, clicking, or buying? That prediction powers the recommendations you see. At first, it feels almost supernatural. Your feed gets you. Shopping sites suggest products before you think of them. Music apps predict your mood with uncanny precision. But here's the trade-off. Personalization isn't neutral. Behind the scenes, AI filters out everything it believes you won't engage with. Slowly, your world narrows. Not by chance, but by design. Over time, this curated stream becomes your information diet. And like any diet, it reshapes you. Not just your tastes, but your perspective on the world itself. The psychology of control. Echo chambers. Watch one type of content long enough. Politics, diets, conspiracies, and the algorithm locks you inside a bubble. That bubble doesn't just surround you, it convinces you this is reality. Competing perspectives fade, replaced by a single narrative. Emotional hijacking. I also learns which emotions keep you glued. Outrage, shock, joy, fear. These are not accidents. They're engineered triggers because emotional spikes mean longer watch times, more clicks, and higher ad revenue. Behavioral nudges. Then there are the subtle nudges. Ads appear at just the right moment, framed in ways that lower your resistance. It feels like free choice, but in reality, the system is steering your decisions with invisible hands. From belief to behavior, beliefs shape actions and platforms know this. That's why they optimize for micro behaviors. One more video, one more purchase, one more swipe. Each decision feels small, but multiplied across millions of users. It changes entire industries, elections, even cultures. Timing matters too. Late night autoplay, payday discounts, or push notifications tuned to your habits. All these tiny tweaks guide your choices. Even your mood can be engineered. A morning of doom scrolling primes you to feel anxious all day. The algorithm isn't just reflecting your state of mind, it's sculpting it. Why neutral algorithms still bias you? Here's the irony. Algorithms don't care what you believe. They care about one metric, engagement. And what drives engagement best? Strong emotions like outrage, fear, or tribal loyalty. As a result, the loudest, most polarizing voices rise to the top. That's why simple, sensational claims often go viral while nuanced, well-researched ideas struggle. Not because they're false, but because they're slower to provoke the kind of instant reaction algorithms are built to amplify. How to stay in control. So how do you protect your beliefs and your behavior? It starts with awareness. Diversify your diet. Follow people and sources you disagree with. Disrupt the bubble. Turn off autoplay. Resist outrage clickbait and question why a piece of content was recommended. Design your defaults, set your own goals, whether that's learning, entertainment, or productivity. So algorithms don't decide them for you. These small steps create friction against the invisible current that pulls you in. For the next seven days, watch your feed like a detective. Notice the nudges. Ask yourself, if the algorithm didn't exist, would I still think this way? Because in the age of AI personalization, Awareness isn't just power, it's freedom. If this video gave you a new perspective, don't just scroll past. Hit subscribe, share it with a friend, and join us for more deep dives into the hidden forces shaping our lives.